So, in front of me, you were looking at the all-new Roamer 1. This is super cool. I got Shane here, who is one of the owners of ROA Off-Road. And, uh, man, this is exciting. This was kind of the main reason you wanted me to come up here was to see this thing. I mean, check it out. The front's illuminated where it says Roamer 1. Got that big LED light bar up top. Super, super cool. So I'm going to let Shane explain a little bit about his company and then also walk us through this absolutely amazing off-road, fully off-road capable Roamer 1. Yeah, so we're we're located in Utah and South Carolina. It's originally it's RVs of America, but our uh, people started calling us ROA, right? For short, kind of became our social media, YouTube. You know, go check out ROA. And one time we were having a conversation saying, you know, we want we're different in the marketplace. We're not like a regular dealership. We we create we've created communities and adventures where the people that buy trailers from us, we go out and have a lot of fun. And so we decided, you know, we should start calling the people that work with us roamers, right? And so we started dreaming and thinking about wouldn't it be so cool if someday we had our own trailer that was called a ROA Mer or a Roamer. And so this is it. This is the Roamer one. This trailer is built by Imperial Outdoors exclusively for us here at ROA. And it is the Roamer one. This is on the same platform as their X195, but it's not, when they deliver it to us, it's not complete. It's still, it's about 90% done. It has to come into the shop and we have to add some of our final touches to it to make it the Roamer one. Of course, it, it comes in the cement or graphite gray color if the package the decal packaging is completely unique to us uh, we have an outside kitchen a dual burner platform to be able to cook on and we have this this entire kitchen is designed and built by us here at ROA um, all aluminum slide out tray tray it's on a slide master tray which is actually these this slide was first building slides for fire trucks right so super heavy duty it's rated for just over a thousand pounds of weight. So you don't need to put a leg or anything to support it. We've had our guys sitting on it to show off how strong it is. Um, coming back over here, we have the uh, propane and this is the uh, two 20 pounders and it's on a tray that slides out. Very cool, love the convenience of that. Yeah, and it's super, it's, it's enough for the trailer, the size of the trailer. Um, one of the things that makes Imperial Outdoors so unique and the Roamer One is we have three inch thick walls and it's a frameless construction. So it's a one piece composite the entire length of the trailer. And, and real quick, three inch thick walls that you have are dramatically different than three inch thick walls, say a DRV or a Lux or yes. any of the other ones in the industry Riverstone have where they're framed with aluminum then stuffed with standard residential style insulation. Yes. This is all super, super dense, three inch thick, like Yeti cooler insulation. Yes, yes, yes. It's a very thick composite foam board, right? And it has a, it's a fiberglass finish with a carbon fiber backing. Um, and because there's no aluminum studs, that tends to be the thing that transfers heat hot and cold more than anything else is aluminum. You get into those, some of those trailers on like a cold or hot day or cold outside, the heat, you can start seeing the studs throughout the walls or the mm -hmm. roof because it condensates through the studs. Without any aluminum in the walls, you don't have that same condensation. So it's performed, it's supposed to get down to 40 below zero and easily over 100 degree temperature. That's crazy. So it is very, very good. Up here, everything you see in this video today comes standard with the Roamer One. So we throw in a shovel for you. Up here, there's a little storage space and also uh, you put your steps in there. You have these steps right here that you can walk up either side and up here you can put a up mount bike rack and it, it will fit two mountain bikes easily up oh, here. Very cool. Um, up here we have the illuminated Roamer One lights and that will turn on when you turn on your truck, your running lights as you're driving down the road. Oh, that's awesome. It also has a dimming ability. So if it's too bright, you can turn it down. Uh, it comes with the arc jockey wheel and we throw in this foot that gives it more support. Oh, that's cool. Just, sitting stationary but that's also for recovery if you ever had an issue yep. and fully articulating fully articulating hitches this is the do 45 by cruise master and that's going to articulate up and down for washes and side to side for any camber and then also you have your brake so you don't have to deal with chalks or blocks 
Uh, all of this is aluminum up here. This whole box is aluminum, so it's super light. The trailer's dry weight comes in just under 6,800 pounds with everything, and that's fully wow. loaded. So comes with an ax, of course. <laughs> you gotta have yep. that for your firewood. Um, and some of this is just the gear it comes with. We've essentially fully stocked this trailer. We want it kind of turnkey. Okay. Because the, the frustration, you go out and buy a trailer and immediately you gotta go and buy all this extra stuff for it. This is your um, your air gun, so if you wanna air up your tires. Okay, you yeah. Know, you can pump up the tires and uh, or anything else. You got your electric cords, you got some camping chairs. We even throw in an electrical tester. Oh, that's because cool. Because if you own a trailer, yeah, you you need a, you need you a multimeter. Need a well, and and when you buy a Roamer one, we have a, an exclusive Roamer tech line. So if you're having an issue, you can text in and say, "Hey, I don't know what's happening," and we have a guy that's pretty much always on call that will actually pick up and help you diagnose. That's very cool. Anything. This is a solar port. It comes standard with a thousand two hundred forty watts of solar on the roof. Wait, one thousand two hundred forty. 1,000, how many panels do you have up there? It's pretty much the entire roof. You oh my no God, 1,200? 1,240 watts of solar on the roof. That's insane. Yeah, lots of solar and extra port if you want to add more on. Yeah, because you need more than 1,240 <laughs> watts of solar. Exactly. This is, uh, this is, looks, doesn't look like much, but this is a proprietary thing that we've actually invented here. And this is actually for Starlink, where you can hook into your Starlink. Oh, that's super cool. You it's already a, ready for it. Yeah, it's plumbed for it. You see a lot of people sticking cords through their windows for their Starlinks. And we've designed this. It took a lot of time, more than people realize. <laughs> so, um, and then of course, just your water hoses and everything. It also comes with the full toolkit with all the tools that you'll need. A torque wrench for your lugs and everything. Oh, wow. So um, coming over here, we have the, this is the Nautilus P4 panel that makes it so you can winterize easily, dry camp, fill up your tanks. You have a black tank flush. You also have airbags on this. And there's a tank that will fill up the tank. This line out is to fill up your tires or, you know, your bicycles, toys, whatever toys, you have with yeah, you, yeah. Airboat. And then this is gonna, this will actually make it, when you get to camp, you can level side to side or just lift up if you're going off-road and you just need more clearance. And it is fast. Yeah. That is super nice. Not pretty cool. That is not, that's not pretty cool. That's very cool. <laughs> Look at that suspension. Yeah, this is the ATX. So it's the most heavy duty cruise master suspension that you can buy on the market. Um, this is a company that comes, it's from Australia independent air coil with reservoirs and it's a hydraulic electric over hydraulic disc brakes so brakes are super grippy and strong it's running a maxis razor tire and this is a load range e all-terrain and this is a really common tire you'll see actually on baja mm -hmm. trucks so i love that tire well, i've run that on my own truck so if you're wondering what this is this is because they use their product yeah <laughs> this, and uh, this is mud <laughs> this, this is, is mud yeah this is one of our units. It's going to stay with us forever. Um, and this also has a tire pressure monitoring system for uh, heat and PSI. Very cool. So let's uh, put that back. I'm going to drop that back down. Just a little ways. Uh, moving to the back, uh, every all of the Romer ones come stock with a spare tire and this cargo box. We also throw in a uh, carrying, this is for trash. This is like okay. a trash -a this is a Rhino USA. Um, you know, the thing that drives me crazy is I get a trailer and I have nowhere to put my trash. We have trash inside and trash outside. Yeah. I end up throwing bags of trash in my truck. Half the time. When you're out in the woods, you gotta get it higher than the raccoons too. Yeah, exactly, well, there you go. And then we have, of course, this cargo. Oh. And this is a perfect spot for a Honda generator or 2200 watt. Yamaha. Very cool. And and I wouldn't recommend anything bigger because the battery bank on this will run the air conditioner. So the only reason why you would want a generator is to charge your batteries. Yeah. So you don't actually need a generator to run the AC because the AC is 12 volt and will run off oh, the batteries. Yeah, so true. all you do is charge the batteries and then run the AC mm -hmm. via the battery. Um, you have max tracks. Those are actually usable max tracks too. And then you have a 270 awning that Check wraps around out. the trailer. Towards the front, all the way over the back in the cargo area. 
This thing and is super nice. Now we should uh, go inside. This door is very nice. It's very yeah. sealed. Yeah, it seals up really well. Nice double seal. It's, this is when, when it actually shuts and you lock it, this is how it locks on. Oh, that's side. cool. Very different. Very marine style door too. Yeah, and you have some cargo here. It is insulated with a dual pane and nighttime blinds. So Very cool. Go ahead and come All right. in. And everything you see comes with the trailer, the mats and the bedding with the, the stitching. Even this very soft looking comforter yep. on top? Yep, and uh, we got the bedding. It says Roamer One on it. Wow. Um, TV comes standard with a smart TV. This is something that we could option if you have a preference. We'll option you to some people have their ideal TV. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have storage throughout. This is a all all real solid wood throughout. Beautiful. Yeah, and then you have these reading lights that are can also go to blue lights. If you press and hold. Yeah, that's nighttime. awesome. Beautiful looking lights though. Yeah, and then you also down here, you have, this turns off these lights. Oh here. wow. And if you press and hold, you can dim them at night. Kind oh, that's cool. Get some mood lighting. There's also uh, two USB ports down here on both sides, so you can charge devices and cell phones, and also two 120 um, regular standard outlets. Very cool. Laptops. Under I know what you're gonna show me, under the bed. Oh yes, under the bed. Now, a little bit different than what you probably remember on the 195. Yeah. And we just wanted to utilize this space right here is because there's a huge gap right here. So we have this panel for extra storage and your thousand. That is crazy. 80 amp hours of lithium battery right there. That is absolutely insane. But, you know, some people say, where do I put my rifle, my shotguns? Yeah, no, that's perfect. There's a good little spot right there. You could foam pad it and put them there. Uh, we also throw in a hamper. So you got your dirty clothes. There's your tire pressure monitoring system right there. And then your 2000 watt inverter with your uh, MPPT solar charge controllers. You have three separate solar, solar charge controllers. So if you lose one solar array for whatever reason, you have two more always running. Redundancy going on here. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Also, we have a, you never want to, you know, you want to stay safe and you got your... Oh, biometric gun safe. There you go. Is that a biometric yeah, one? It is. Yeah. yeah, it yeah. is. It's not set up to my Oh, finger. that is super cool. If you don't want to put a gun in there, you can take this out and stash other You guys stuff have like there. totally loaded this thing up. It is, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so pretty fun. Of course, you got your cutting board right there and it's nice. engraved with the, yeah. the Romer M. I love this sink. It's like this multi-purpose sink, super deep, single basin, but then it has all these cool little trays that fit inside of it. Yeah, it's really functional, right? Coming down here too, we uh, throw in, like I said, one of the things that drives me crazy is not having a trash can. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And you have your trash can and it slides out. I uh, love these, these little latches too. Oh yeah, these latch, these are European metal latch. They lock in, really heavy duty. Comes with this broom, as silly as it may seem, it's nice to have a good broom. I don't yeah. know if you've ever seen this yep. broom. And to sweep off your uh, your steps. I have seen that before actually, and it is really cool. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. Yeah, so. But over here into the booth area, you can see it's very different from uh, any of the other trailers we have. Uh, yes, this is, is all everything that you see is done locally custom here in Utah. So this we have upholstery shop here in Utah that does all of this. This is about twice as thick as the other trailers that we've been on. A uh, very premium uh, marine leather and uh, it's also a little bit wider or mm -hmm. longer at the... It at seems the like it, yeah. So you can actually have more support under your legs pretty comfortable. And while we're here, we might as well take a look at this window. These acrylic windows have the shade on the bottom, but then check this out. Every little snap you hear is a stopping point. Yeah, and then it drops back down. Very cool. And they're dual pane as well. Dual pane window, yeah, with the gas in it. They're really good for uh, insulation. All the drawers, soft closing drawers with yeah. that hidden latch. Yeah, the hidden latches go down here. Of course, we have, oh, I didn't mention outside, we do have a backup camera and that's standard on the back end. So you have your camera and then you also have your 
tire. Yeah, tire minder. minder system too. It's a good system. Yeah, absolutely. And that's nice with the storage throughout. Right here, we have a setup cutlery oh, area where yeah. you have all of your. Oh silverware. my gosh, they all say Romer One. Says or Romer on it. Yep, exactly. Even the the knives. Wow. They go through in there and slide in. And Induction cooktop. Yeah, and it's a dual burner. Yeah, and we try to supply everything with you. So when you come, you're just ready to go. And they actually pull in, say Romer, and they go in and drop in place. That is so very cool. Moving around. And they're nice and deep Classic. in there too. Yeah, there's slides. Yeah, it slides. It. It's a slant. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, so yeah you can definitely tell. Keep it in there. And then you got also your Romer glasses too. Man, you guys have included everything in this unit. Oh, absolutely. That yeah. is really cool. Right here, your manuals. So we got, we find a spot to put everything. It feels like sometimes the manufacturers are just like throwing it on the bed or whatever yeah, in the drawer. Yeah, seriously. We, we try to be very intentional with where everything is. Well, goes. the other problem you run into in most RVs is that you have to search for a spot to put things. And then when you buy your plates, you don't know what's gonna fit. You don't know where it's gonna go and they're gonna slide around. But with the way you've done it here is there's no guessing. It's, it's set up for, for four people or more because not everyone needs to use a big plate. Yeah. Well, that's really cool, man. That yeah. looks absolutely beautiful. Well, that's kind of the thing is we've been, you know, dealing with so many of these trailers over the years and we just thought, what, how can you like put it all together and make it into one good offering? And we got the I figured that would say Romer as yep, well. Yeah, and their induction. They're designed for the induction cooktop. You also have a slide right here for extra cargo. Very nice. For canned goods. And I'm a big fan of these, and I've only become a big fan of these because I found out about them <laughs> while I was here. <laughs> yeah, isotherm. These are some of the most efficient, like as far as compressor goes. They use very little power. They're they're made to be jostled and rocked, and they're made for yachts. They actually look like what you would see in a commercial kitchen. Yeah. They're like kind of like the the wolf, you know, but, and look at that, it's metal latches right there. Mm -hmm. They're not plastic, so you can kind of slam them. Fridge and freezer. So you have the dual setup here. This is beautiful. Yeah, and their isotherm has one of the highest reputations for quality fridges. Really nice. Um, above you here, we have the Dometic 12 volt AC unit. So you don't, you do not run this through the inverter. This runs directly off of batteries. Underneath the fridge down here, you have an access panel to the Truma, which is a Combi Plus, and that goes from 7, 14 to 20,000 BTUs of forced heating. And the heating is under the shower, at your foot here. One of the things that I've noticed is I've been in this in five degrees below zero, and that heat just radiates across the floors and makes them right, nice to walk on. Oh yeah, I bet. Out. Yeah, it keeps them nice and warm. Of course, in here we have our uh, towel bar. Very nice. We added Romer on it too, and we got a bunch of all the, everything is just pretty much ready for you to rock and roll. Get on yeah. the trail and go out and have fun and play. Um, lots of storage in here too, all throughout. Um, all these cupboards and then all the soft clothes as well. And last, oh, this right here mm -hmm. is the toilet. And this is a dry flush Lavio toilet. Super cool. Uh, not There is no black tank on this trailer. You have 60 gallons of fresh water and 60 gallons of gray in zero black tank. It's all right here. The toilet, it's kind of like a diaper genie. You do your business and it vacuums, it sucks it up and puts it into a bag and you can just keep on going. And once you're done, you just dispose of it. That's super cool. Yeah, it's a cool setup. And drawer there and that one kind of slides out and you can have mm -hmm. refills in it porcelain sink beautiful beautiful setup over here yeah and also outlets and you also have these nice light switches right here that... let me hop out of the shower and flip around okay so here is the shower and you know the the opening isn't terribly wide which is kind of being expected but you can easily kind of go sideways through here to get in here but once you're in here it really opens up here i'll let you hop inside yeah let's say i'm i'm 240 pounds and i'm six feet tall and I mean, I feel comfortable in here. Yeah. And you, you know, if you drop a bar of soap, that's the most important thing. Can you pick it up, right? Yep. <laughs> and if you, yeah, for you ladies, if you want to sit down and shave your legs, and then this thing adjusts, and it's really nice and efficient. And that Truma water heater just runs and gets your water nice and toasty, and you can shower when you're off grid in the middle of nowhere. Yep. 
This is such a beautiful unit. So much thought put into all the little details. But you know what really makes it stand out also is the thought that's put into the things that you just include to make it camping ready. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the dish holders, the silverware, labeling everything, the towels, the sewer stuff you have down there, the hose. I mean, all the stuff that you have is, like I said, you just don't have to put a lot of thought into it. You pack this thing with food and clothes and you're ready to hit the trails. Now, a lot of people buying these trailers, they've never owned a trailer before, so they don't even know, they don't know what they don't know, right? And so it's like, what do I get? And then they have to go and figure it out, and it becomes just such a hassle and an ordeal. And it's like, listen, I've been camping my whole life. I know what you need, right? Yep. And so what we've done is we've tried to include everything so that when you come to pick this up, we can have it stocked with water, and you can just go completely completely off grid and you can go if it's 40 degrees outside or 104 degrees outside you can come out pick it up and go camping immediately you don't have to deal with setting it up yourself all right so we're going to wrap this up i mean this is absolutely a beautiful beautiful truly off-road capable rv um, and you know when we, when we talk about capabilities it's not a small travel trailer. I mean, it's not a huge travel trailer, but it's not tiny. So when, when we talk about where this is capable of going and how extreme it can go, I guess you always have to keep in mind where you plan on taking it and your approach angles, your departure angles, and what you're gonna be towing it with and how, how tight of a turn you need to make with it. So, you know, we created this scale one through 10, 10 being the most extreme, crazy capable off-road RV, one being, you know, something you typically see at an RV dealership lot that's just designed to be over the highway, and kind of three, three and a half being the, uh, what brand are we the talking Ember. about? The Ember, yeah. which is kind of, you know, this... The American supposedly off-road trailer. Yeah, yeah. They've done some good things to make they, they, They've done some good things, and they've kept it in an affordable price point, so I get all that. Yeah. But when we talk about truly off-road capable RVs, we really listed them as uh, six and above. Yeah, you have to be six and above to be off-road capable. Yep. And a few few things that, that qualify to even make that fully articulating hitch. Yes. Um, adjustable suspension, was that one of yeah, them? Independent. Independent yeah, suspension, independent. truly independent yeah, suspension. Yeah, truly independent with either some gas shocks, coils, or air. Yep, latches to make sure cabinets Ooh, don't open. Latches, yep. yep. And, uh, I think, you know. Those to me, are, I think, are the three most important things. If yeah. I were to do a video all by itself and say the three most important things to make an off-road, those would be the three. Yep, absolutely. Things. Definitely, with this being, you know, above 6,000 pounds, it's pretty heavy, right? I mean, but it's not as heavy as say the pauses are. I would definitely say this is around a seven to an eight off-road. And 10 to me is like the Patriots, which those mm -hmm. are 1,000, 1,500 pound trailers that you can pull with the Jeep. But you're looking at a 26 foot trailer. I, I believe this is a seven for sure to any, even an yeah. eight. It's Cause it's gonna get you, gonna get you anywhere you want to go um, absolutely and it looks just sexy it looks great i mean you. wow you guys have nailed it and i would love to see one of these behind my truck and you know it's funny because i have big truck big rv this is a pretty big i, I don't know how i would define it as big as an overall bulk but i could totally see the 450 hauling this thing around <laughs> i mean Seriously, this thing is just absolutely great. And we're working on something, so we may uh, we may be able to feature this for a, kind of a longer term thing pretty yeah, soon. You might you might see it down in Houston, in the Texas South area. South Texas area, yeah. Rolling around, if you do, you know, we might be testing it down there. Yep. You know, I really want to get it somewhere hot, honestly. Well, I can, I can accomplish that for yeah, you. Yeah, I can we, get it somewhere cold, you can get it somewhere hot. Absolutely. Well, Shane, I really appreciate it. It has been absolutely great. This is really, the reason why I came down here. I mean, we filmed a bunch of stuff. We wanted to show you what everybody has to offer and then end with their new offering called the Roamer One, which is loaded with off-road tech, but it's also loaded with everything you need to get camping and it's supported by the great people over here at ROA Off-Road. So that yeah, is super cool. You. Yeah, and we have a facility over in South Carolina, just outside of Greenville. And then of course our Utah, Utah facility just south of Salt Lake. It's not just about buying a trailer for us. It's about becoming part of a community, community, the Romer community, you know, and we do Romer adventures and Romer rallies every year. And, and so we're so excited that we're officially now offering a trailer that not only when you buy from us, you become a Romer no matter what trailer you buy, but now you can buy a trailer with the name Romer on it too. So Absolutely. it's pretty exciting. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to their channel, which is? It's ROA Off-Road. Yep, and my channel, of course. Give us both a thumbs up, and we'll be back to talk to you again very soon.